Adventures of the Okie Dokie Boys. Howdy, Mo. Well, hey, little Bobby. How you doing this morning? I'm doing mighty fine. Well, that's just great. I'm doing pretty good myself, just sitting here and drawing some coffee and, and just enjoying the, the nice weather. Yep. You know, I've just been thinking what we learned last time. Well, what? Not to cut it? Well, that too, but I, I was thinking more not to leave your yard sticks on the couch. Well, that or anything else that's important to you probably shouldn't leave just sitting on the couch. Well, it's breakable, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, I don't think we've seen High or Tail or heard anything from Angry Joe lately. I wonder what he's up to. Well, I sure hope he's putting his yard stick to good use. Well, me too. That feller's got the nicest haircut I've ever seen. Boy, howdy, it's a good thing I got myself one just like it. I admire little Bobby. Mm, boy, it sure was nice of him to give me that there yard stick. Mm. Come to think of it, did I ever do anything nice for him back? Ah, oh, run for your life, Mo! I'm gone. I don't think I did. I don't feel quite right about that. Mm. Are you having problems in your life that you cannot seem to resolve? Hello. I am Dr. Samford Biggerdoof, and I am here to help you resolve your problems, whatever they may be. I personally guarantee your problems gone or your money back. So come see me, Dr. Samford Biggerdoof, today. Do you think that Dr. Samford Biggerdoof would have some practical accounting knowledge? No, no, that's not his thing. He's a psycho. I mean, a psychiatrist. <laughs> If it weren't for Dr. Sanford Biggerdoof, I never would have written my book, Cover Your Nut. And let me tell you, he solved all my problems in seven and a half minutes. I cannot even believe that anybody could solve your problems in seven and a half minutes. But it's, I'm proof positive. Look, look how sane I look. Please call Dr. Sanford Biggerdoof. And you will have the same success of writing a book that I did here. Thank you very much. To set up your appointment with Dr. Sanford Biggerdoof, please dial 555-555-5555. Call now. Dr. Biggerdoof, here I come. And how does that make you feel? I just can't help getting mad. Well, I think that every time you feel like, for any reason, screaming at the top of your lungs, you should try this. Come. 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 You try. Come. 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 Close enough. Hmm. Will there be anything else? Well, yeah, yeah. You see, there's this, there's this nice feller in my neighborhood named uh, Little Bobby. And uh, he... I tried to take a yard stick of his. And then he, he bought me a yard stick just like his. And I just feel like that... Well, I never did anything nice for him back. Well... I believe that you should approach this fellow, um, little Bobby, and uh, bring him a present. Present? Yes. He gave you the yardstick, did he not? Bring him a gift. Yardstick? Gift? Of course. 
You should bring him a present. That's a great idea, Doc. I'm gonna give little Bobby a gift. <sighs> Bill! And that's when I decided to get myself some red solo cups. Oh, here you are. I'm looking all over you. Deja vu. Mo, wake up, Mo, wake up, we gotta wake up, we gotta run for it. Oh, no, no, calm down, calm down. Take your job again. I'm <laughs> around town, around the neighborhood, <laughs> and, uh, well, I gotta figure out what y'all like, so, uh, what y'all like? Oh, okay, well, why don't you say something? Well, um, well, um, I like, uh, video games and board games and Legos and play castles and action figures and Roblox and yardsticks, but, of course, I already got a nice yardstick. You got a nice yardstick. Yeah, it's a nice yardstick, <laughs> isn't it? Very nice yard stick. Oh, and uh, I like Hello Kitty stuff. What? Yeah, you see, I, I even got my Hello Kitty toothbrush. Well, uh, all right, well, whatever you say. Well, I think that about covers it for me, but uh, yeah, it does. Well, well, what, what do you like, Mo? Well, I, I, I like shoestrings. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Remember that one shoestring that I won in a tic-tac-toe competition? You, boy, I tell you, Mo played with that shoestring for hours and hours and hours, so I finally decided to give it to him. Isn't oh, that right, Mo? Yeah, there are all kinds of things you could do with a shoestring. I bet. All right, that should do it. Uh, thanks for your help. <laughs> He's gonna be so happy when I give him this gift. <laughs> what? Uh, here we go. We can't go wrong with this one. <laughs> Wait. What? What? He sold me a used Roblox card! What? You don't have Legos? What? You don't have play castles either? Shut up. What? I've tried every Toys R Us store in the USA west of California. And that's how I won that tic-tac-toe competition. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, hi there, Angry Joe. What have you been up to? Oh, hi there, little Bobby. Uh, I've been around the block trying to trying to find you a present for uh, to thank you for the R stick. And uh, well, this is uh, this here is all I could find. 
Here, it's a, it's a, it's a new shoestring for you. Oh wow, Angry Joe! This is the nicest gift I've ever received. You gotta be kidding me! No, really, Angry Joe. This is the nicest thing that you've ever done. It sure is, Angry Joe. I'm mighty proud of you. Well, uh, I appreciate that. Well, uh, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, there's one more thing I got you right here. Here, this is a Stevie Ray Vaughan music disc. And I hope you like this too. There you go. Oh, thank you. Hey, that's a pretty nice disc too. Ooh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. We could have a lot of fun listening to this. Yes. Well, I think that's uh, about it. And I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you later then. Thanks again for the arm stick and I hope you like your stuff. See you around. I better find a trash can and throw this away somewhere. Whoa. That dude's got the nicest pair of shades I've ever seen. Dude. I wonder if I could get me some of those. Whoa. Where was I?